Many people call Charlotte a transplant city, but the city has a rich history. And people who've lived in the Queen City their entire lives may sometimes worry newer residents don't know as much about the city's history as they should. That includes the story behind the city's professional basketball team, the Charlotte Hornets. It's a team that had a name, lost it, and then got it back. For that, many people credit two brothers and their goal to bring back the buzz. I'm Scotty Kent. I am the co-founder of Bring Back the Buzz. And I'm Evan Kent, co-founder of Bring Back the Buzz. And we're the Buzz Brothers. <laughs> I had to do the guns. I couldn't help it. They may seem like two pretty laid back guys, but what you may not know about Scotty and Evan Kent is that they're mostly responsible for creating a sporting renaissance, if you will, in the city of Charlotte. The Hornets franchise was born in the Queen City in 1988. By 2002, the team's owner relocated it to New Orleans, making room for a new team in Charlotte called the Bobcats. And despite an impressive record on the court, the fan following was lacking. We met up and we were watching a Bobcats game and uh, over a few spirits, <laughs> spirits. <laughs> uh, started talking about how nobody in town really cared that the, the Bobcats at the time were in contention to make the playoffs. You know, it wasn't like this when we were the Hornets. Uh, somebody should do something about this. And they did. That night, coming up with the idea to build a website and a Twitter page called Bring Back the Buzz, a campaign meant to light up Charlotte's basketball scene and push for the NBA to bring the team's original name back home. Let's go, Hornets! Let's go, Hornets! Shortly after the birth of Bring Back the Buzz, plans were set in motion, and in 2013, the city got its name back, becoming once again the Charlotte Hornets. Bringing back the name Charlotte Hornets brought back not just the just the, the stories and the memories from the previous installment, but it also brought back a an identity that the city desperately needed. That identity from there on was grassrooted in the Bring Back the Buzz campaign. The brothers quickly grew from attracting fans on social media to captivating them through their podcast shows, which are broadcast today on Spotify and iTunes. We don't pull any punches, and it's always been about Charlotte Hornets, what's best for Charlotte, what's best for the Panthers, and if we have to ask the tough questions, or if we have to be the bad guys, then we have no problem with be, like, being those people. And when they make it to a game in the Spectrum Center, they'll be the first ones to tell you they bring a certain intensity. Uh, a, a lot of a lot of passion. Um, we do tend to swear a lot. And while some may not comprehend the sheer amount of passion Evan and Scotty bring to the games, what they can understand is the love the brothers have for the city they grew up in. Realize that things like the Hornets' name goes beyond just a basketball team. It's a culture, and it means something to those who live here. Be Charlotte. Embrace Charlotte. Utilize Charlotte. Use it as a resource, but don't abuse it. Despite a season of ups and downs and a missed shot at the NBA playoffs, the Buzz Brothers have managed to raise a loyal fan base that sticks with the Hornets through and through. And it's all for the love of the team and Charlotte. Through the good and through the bad, we bleed teal and purple, and we want to get as many people in this city to do the same. Brothers Evan and Scotty Kent typically hold the city of Charlotte and Hornets fans accountable, often sharply encouraging them to support the team, especially during losing streaks and even in the offseason.